what if we could use Google to rank on Google? What if we could get inside of the head of Google.com, its algorithm, and start using its own tools so that we could rank higher, get more traffic, make more money. And that's exactly what we're going to do in this video. We're going to go over different projects that Google is putting out. Google Bard is live right now, and it has a lot of use cases for SEO. Google Magi is coming around the corner, and I want to know, is that going to be the end of SEO? I'm not some doomsdayer saying that. I want to know, what is that search engine going to look like, and is it going to make my website's traffic go down? So let's jump right into it. This is Bard, okay? You can find it at bard.google.com. This is very useful for websites, affiliate websites, and niche websites, local businesses, all of it. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, for those purposes. But first, let's start at the beginning. So how is Bard better than ChatGPT? This is a free tool right now. Um, I had to sign up for a waiting list. So go to bard.google and see if you can get on. But you can ask it and it'll tell you information just like ChatGPT. But how is it better? Um, it says Bard is trained on a massive data set of text and code, including the entire internet, blah, 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 while ChatGPT is trained on smaller data set of text and code. All right, so Bard is claiming that we have way more information in our model than ChatGPT does. Okay, that's interesting. So this means that Google uh, Bard can access a wider range of info and generate more comprehensive and informative responses. Cool. Well, the biggest difference that I've seen, and I've gone through this, I've already read all this, so I'll just get to the point. Bard is up to date. It can crawl websites real time. It will tell you it can't, but watch this. So tell me the latest developments on Google Magi. So Google Magi, we'll get into this. Let's just see what um, Bard says. Google Magi is a new search engine that is being developed by Google AI. It's still in development, but it has potential to revolutionize the way we search the internet. And a lot of people are scared about this. And I'm gonna go into that later in this video, why they're scared. But let's see what ChatGPT would have done with the same query. And here you go. Tell me the latest developments in Google Magi. I apologize, but I'm not sure what you're referring to. All right, so there you have it. That's proof. Open AI is not live. It's, it's what, 2021, February. Whereas Google Bard, here we go, is latest stuff. So this begs the question, how can we use this to our advantage? So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use one of my websites to show you how you can use this. This is the thriftywhale.com. Nothing special, but as you can see, the graph looks good. We started this, you know, last year around September, August, something like that. Impressions are going up clicks, you know, we're going up. It's looking good. This is a nice seed website where we can do experiments on. I spend a lot of money on these experiments so we can all learn from it. It's a very fun thing for me to do. So the Thrifty Whale, it's about fishing. Okay, let's go to articles. Right now, we have a couple articles a day. I think it's three articles a day we're posting here, and we're doing it automatically. And I'm going to teach you about that here in a minute. But it's very good content. Um, and as you can see, it's working. So if you're anything like me, I don't have websites just for fun, though. It's to make money. And how we do that is through affiliate links. We do it through display ads. We do it through affiliate links. Affiliate links is how we're going to make money on the Thrifty Whale. So to use Bard, let's get to it. I want to know, tell me, tell me the 10 best fishing rods for catfish available <clears throat> on Amazon. And let's see how Bard handles this. The idea here is if I have a website, I can do a Amazon affiliate links. Very, very nice. Now, okay, do you see this? That's crazy, right? Try that with ChatGPT. It's not going to work. So sure, here are the 10 best fishing rods available on Amazon. And it even gives us a brief overview. So what I could ask now, and before I get into it, let's just, let's just say, when you're doing keyword research and you're doing all this research to find products, it's kind of a pain to go through Amazon and figure out, okay, this is here, this is on Bass Pro Shop, to source it all. So Bard is able to source all of our products easily because, okay, here's what's on Amazon.com. It can pull active information. Then I'm going to say, give me the pros and cons to each one. And it's going to take a second because Google Bard is pretty darn fast, and it's going to spit it out. And there it is, pros and cons of each and every one of them. So just like that, we saved about 30 minutes of time, right? We're using Google Bard. It's a free tool. We can ask it these things. It'll give us active data, real-time data. But here's the question. If I have the 10 best fishing rods to talk about now, 
what is the other portion of that article, the other 50%, and how are we going to accomplish that? And I'm going to show you. So the next step to build out this affiliate article, and this is exactly what we're doing on the Thrifty Well, right? And you saw that it does work. So go to Quick Article Workflow. You can find it here at this URL. I have a link in the description. And all you have to do is type your keyword in. I already know what I want. What you need to know about when purchasing a fishing rod for catfish. I'm going to do a conversational style. We'll make it a smaller one, a two, and it's going to spit it out down here. The whole point of this was an internal tool for us to quickly create articles, right? I don't want to spend a lot of money creating articles. I want to make a lot of money, but don't spend a lot of time. Don't spend a lot of money. I just want to figure out how to optimize this whole thing. And that's why this came about. Now it's open to the public for now. Check it out. Use it. You need an open AI key. Go to the frequently asked questions over here. Read about it. Give us feedback. If you want to give us feedback, that's cool too. So about two minutes later, here you go. It's done. Real and in success, a comprehensive guide to choosing the right rod for fishing catfish. Uh, why it matters, types of catfish rods. Look, you got spinning rods, casting rods, uh, length and power, size. All these things are great. And so what you do is you combine this with a typical affiliate, you know, top of the website. Here are the 10 best catfish fishing rods. And here's how to choose the best fishing rod for you, right? This is not complicated stuff. You can do it quickly if you have the right tools. Now I have one more awesome use case for Bard right now, but before we do, I wanna jump into this article by Google. Google search sends more traffic to the open web every year. This is from Google's blog. This is very, very interesting. This is about Google's Magi, which is supposed to be like the AI variant of their search. They tried that with Bard, do you remember that? Um, but basically, <laughs> it's very interesting. I'll, I'll link this in the description. So they're saying, you know, people reformulate their queries. They look for facts. They are backing themselves up because people are freaking out. They're saying, you're going to take away clicks from my website. I'm angry because you are going to take away money from my pocket. And this is Google's response. So in order to get a quick summary, I have a cool tool up here. I'm going to do a video on this in itself. So we're kind of putting this in here. A summary. Google search sends billions of clicks to websites every day. Um, let me move my head out of the way. Let's see here. Um, not every query on Google results in a click to a website. Over the years, Google has dramatically grown for the opportunity. So what this basically is saying is, look, Google has changed over time, and you all are freaking out that we're changing again. But, you know, those people who just want 10 blue hyperlinks, as it was in 2007, on the search result, it's not going to happen. And we're going to continue to change, and that's okay. And I tend to agree with them to a certain extent. And I have a kind of take on this. I think Google Magi is probably just a remask of Google Bard in some manner, right? It's, it's just the same model. I bet you it's the same model, and it's just another PR marketing campaign to re-roll it out because their first rollout was so bad. So this is the second use case for Bard. This is really really powerful so say you want to refresh your website say you have a website on traveling or yeah let's just say traveling because covid was such a thing right um so i'm gonna say i have a website on traveling to let's say new zealand um tell me something that is recent news that can help with my seo so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to tell it exactly what we need, but it's going to be able to draw upon recent things. Very cool. New Zealand reopens to international travel after two years. OK, uh, tell me something more recent, at least to April 2023. All right, let's see how it can do. I mean, this is very specific. Um, here we go. New Zealand tourism industry recovery started to plateau. Where could we find this? More Queenstown businesses look to buy worker accommodation, and we could say Google it. Let's press the Google it button. New Zealand tourism news. So look, look here. Very nice. It took our research and did it quickly. And now we know exactly what to type into Google. What is tour the tourism prediction for New Zealand? Um, more Queenstown business businesses looking to buy worker accommodation. Let's just click here and see what happens very very nice we get the sources right away and we can pull information from what was this this was the ministry of business innovation and employment that's a great uh, thing you could reference so let's try it again let's try uh, it again let's say i have a website on traveling to madrid spain 
tell me recent news that I can use to refresh some of my blog posts on travel it there okay let's see what it does so it's very important when you're on top of the heap to sometimes go into your blog posts and refresh them if you haven't sitting there for two years you're probably going to get overtaken and this is a quick way to, to, to refresh so let's see here uh, Madrid to host the Latin Grammys for the first time in 2023 Spain's Vox party fails and government no confident motion all of these things and here's the google it uh, Madrid Spain recent news what are the new restrictions in Madrid and what is the site and situation of Madrid well let's take it another direction right now let's go to rolex.com you know they just released a bunch of watches very very nice very cool they have some of the best watches in the world debatably right so people are very interested in them so can bar do something for us um, tell me how the new rolex collection is doing uh relative to previous years so this would be very up-to-date information very very useful if we have a rolex website right the new rolex collection is doing very well in fact is one of the most successful collections it's ever released um well tell me more I need more specifics on numbers let's see here um let's see here they're very they're also very versatile and can be worn yeah yeah we know all that uh, the new collection includes 12 new models the prices are from 5 to 30 grand the watches in the collection have been very popular with m many models selling out quickly um, has not released any specific sales figures so there you have it very up-to-date information it even says look rolex has not released any sales figures you could have that in your blog post so we're going to ask it this is something we haven't done yet write a blog post on this information informing users of the recent collection and stats let's see how it does let's see how bard writes an article it's pretty thin right pretty thin um let's do this i have an idea we're gonna look that's kind of kind of weak right so i don't think bard and i've done a lot of tests i don't think bard is really good not yet at least at creating an article we have the quick article workflow it's better even ChatGPT by itself is much better than bard at creating articles but let's push it to ChatGPT and see what it can do i'm gonna say use this as a framework for a outline of an article um, give me an seo optimized article outline boom introduction that's not bad it's actually really good okay introduction high quality materials innovative that's it's very very good i was not expecting that so maybe there's a use case you can use bard to grab updated information you can push it to chat gpt to create an outline to them create a more in-depth article so the thrifty whale is going to be the experiment in the future we're going to do this exactly what i showed you with bard we're going to create articles affiliate articles on this website we're going to risk it we're going to risk this traffic this upward trend we're going to go for it let's see if it works i like experimenting because we all learn from the process so if you like this if you like this channel if you like this style of learning uh, make sure to subscribe check out the master class as well and remember the free tool right don't forget this this is available right now it spits out articles super fast you need an open ai key um, but use it use it there's a thousand plus thousands um, i haven't checked recently but last i checked thousands of um, articles being created every day uh, hundreds of users so it's grown it's grown it's grown that's really cool really grateful for all of you if you have any questions um, send them in the comments I, I read every comment but uh, anyways hope this video was helpful and i'll check you on the next one